Life is so sad. I'm sorry. That's all right. Not, not everything can go perfect. It's my turn. We didn't interact very good. Can we have another chance? No. Uh, perhaps another time. Oh, look at this. I got curly jean. Oh, I'm already flustered. <laughs> That's the first time we had an interview you after you. see how it be when they ask things you don't want to talk about? Well, why not give me a chance? Well, first of all, I'd like to, like, I'd like to ask you, um, let's see. Are you really satisfactory in your marriage? Oh, now that I'm married to Squint, I'm extremely satisfied. I mean, you know, satisfied. I'm very happy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. You tell him, I. I guess I did. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite part? <clears throat> what is your, say, your favorite place to go in the country? What, what do you like to go on vacations, like on honeymoons or whatever? Oh, well, I like to go to Las Vegas. Uh, okay. I really, really do. Uh, oh, do you like? In Southern California. Well, like, we only have one choice. Okay, and, uh, what is your favorite part of L.A.? Hollywood. She's Hollywood. <laughs> oh, she's so typical. Yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Get Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think this is my fourth question. Let's see. Um, did when you were married to Curtis, was did he make you marry him, or was that of your own choice? Well, he kind of pressured me, and uh, I needed, I needed security, and you know, I liked him and admired him, so that's what caused it. She liked to shine. And she was smart at me at the time. <laughs> All right. That's because you and I were back then, we were like this, close together, but... Did you have to show that example? <laughs> I ain't supposed to be involved in this right now. <laughs> all right, Kelly G, what's your favorite food? Can you cook? I don't really like to cook at all. Um, most of the time, Jesse and Joni and I just got by on hot dogs. Now, uh, this is your liberated woman, if I ever heard it. But if I have to cook, one thing I can hot cook... Dog. I make a fairly decent uh, beef stew. At least I like it. She does make a good beef stew. Possible, anyway. Oh. Huh. Well, you see. Well, it's like the turn of bread. All right. Some of these things that you've said are really quite amusing. I wonder what I've got. It's all balled up so tight. Little tiny pieces of paper. Okay. This is going to take five minutes to get it out. All right. I've drawn Ozai. Oz. Here I go again. Well, no, Ozai. A common from way down south of the border. Uh, what is your favorite Mexican singer? Who is your favorite Mexican singer? Ooh, I like... Who, what is that guy's name? It's... Uh... Miguel Iglesias is... Sounds good. Sounds like a whole bunch of churches. A whole bunch of churches. All right. You're kind of short of stature. Do you have a desire to grow taller? Are you unhappy with your weight? Well, if I... If, if somebody said you could be taller by just cutting the lawn, I would do it. You what? Oh. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's a wishing in fairy tales and... Even in the little sprites or something to come oh, along well. and he's grant your nymph. wishes. I think he's a nymph. I think he's out to destroy the world. Are you very good at physical labor? No, I like to. You're probably gonna make me say I want to put it on a burro. That's not true. I like to <laughs> use. I like to put stuff in the trunk of my car. What's going off stuff? Oh, is that your? Is that another question? That's number four. I like to put bodies. <laughs> no, not uh, really. I like to put boxes and things that I buy at the store. And stuff them into your trunk. Mm hmm. It really turns me on. I see. See, it's getting hot already. Very good. <laughs> okay. Now you will take a bit of the grass and the marijuana as it were once in a while. What kind of feelings do you get off of that? 
Could you repeat the question? How do you feel when you get high? Oh, you mean like when you climb up on something? And when you're on the drugs. Well, sometimes I think about how terrible it is to to murder someone, especially when <laughs> they die. And granted. How, and, and how how not to let the cops catch me? And I'm a very good runner, so I could make it back. To, he's done. Red squat. There's no spade. I watched an interview. I don't even want to think that existed. You did as good as you could, Brett. You that, tried. You tried hard. You failed. Okay, I, oh no. I draw a clam. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, what, uh, what kind of uh, feelings did you have right before you uh, signed up for this class? You ain't gonna believe this, but I had awful to be. <laughs> the night before I come into class, the I remember it vividly, Dr. Now. Fatler said I had this awful speaking problem, this impediment, he was gonna fix it, and he grabbed a hold of my tongue and pull on it, <laughs> and pull it, and I said, no, no, that hurt, that works. How could you say it when he's pulling your tongue? Well, you know, I scream and thinking I say that. That's what my scream meant. <laughs> and anyway, he supposed to fix it, and when he got to it, it was <laughs> Do tell. And that, that would have been enough to uh, kind of dissuade you from uh, going into class. No, but I believe I come down right on any day. I tell that to Dr. Fentworth later, and he laughed. That was very funny. Imagine twisting the tongue to make it better. Oh. Fixing the tongue. It's a good idea sometimes when you get out of line. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, question two. Uh, when you was a teenager, was you ever in trouble with the law? No, I never... I the law <laughs> and the law worked. I never did do no crime, but I got accused of stealing things. Sometime uh, and cheating, cheating on paper at school, but it was I. I didn't do it. I was innocent. And also, he was innocent of the lies accusation in his hair. You were framed. Yeah, I same, same. I can say that word. Okay. Uh, have you looked into the possibility of an operation uh, to help you with your, uh, your impediment there? I mean, what did the doctors say about the chances of uh, improvement? Survival. Well, I had it all my life, see, and my mother took me to the doctor, and uh, they say I can't do nothing about it. Uh, it just, my tongue too thick, and it, the way it hit the top of my mouth, you know, ain't nothing they can do. It might be danger that I couldn't talk no more at all if you do something. Here, I could see a shock in here. Dr. Detroit. Don't say it. Uh, Dr. Demento. Okay, that was the toy question, I, I think. The fourth yes. one. Uh, okay, are you frustrated in any of your ambitions? Oh, sure. I wish I was good-looking and talented and, you know, do everything, have Better confidence and all of that. Uh, I'm pretty frustrated, yeah. Even better sometimes. Well, at least that's candid and honest, and to the point. Okay, uh, was that the fourth? Oh, yeah, no, that, that was the now. third. Yeah, we well, on the fifth. Mm -hmm. A very good counter. Okay, uh, uh, what, uh, what do you think is, uh, basically wrong with the world? Basic wrong with the world is that everybody just pay attention to what they can see on the outside and don't care nothing about what's on the inside.